Thanks, Ellie. Hey, IMC.FB, I am Dot Noel, and I am here with another IMC.concert in your face, and tonight's going to be a really great show because we have the long-awaited return to the IMC stage of Ricky England, who will be playing for us in just a little bit. Um, but before we get to the music, I need to make a couple of quick announcements and also say thanks to somebody. So let me just inform you all that... Um, as you know, I started working again. I had a movie role yesterday, which was so much fun. But that means that I'm going to start getting busy again, and I'm probably not going to be able to do IMC.concerts once a week because, you know, life. So I'm probably going to do them bi-weekly. So we'll, uh, we'll work on maybe next week if I can get a show going for next week and then every two weeks after that. Um, bi-weekly, I don't know, is that twice a month or every two months, I don't, I don't know, every two weeks, what is it? It's tough being by, but we're going to do it. We're going to have every other week. How's that? That makes sense. We're going to do them every other week. And then if it, if I'm too busy for that, I might have to move to monthly, but uh, I'll try to at least keep them going monthly. If I get really busy, we'll see. Just giving you a heads up. And having said that, I also need to say thank you to somebody. So bear with me just a second and watch this. Before we get to the music, I just need to say thanks to another huge supporter of the Independent Music Conference. Since 2006, Reverb Nation has helped millions of emerging artists build their careers. They connect artists to venues, festivals, brands, publishers, labels, and directly to their fans. Reverb Nation's powerful career management and online marketing tools combined with rapidly growing A&R capabilities and broad industry relationships, offer emerging artists from around the world access to the global music industry. So, please join me in giving a big shout out to Lou Playa and the entire team at Reverb Nation. Thanks for supporting the IMC for so many years. Yeah, so big shout out to Lou Playa and the gang at Reverb Nation. Ricky England, how are you, my friend? Hey, hey, hey. Greetings hey, from hey, the hey. West. Greetings from How's the going? West. All right, we are How's definitely getting that reverby thing going on now. We got we got duplication of sound problems. Oh. <laughs> oh. But that's okay. Glitches sound? happen. Son What's of a sound? glitch. They do. We are they in do. a streaming world. We are in a streaming <laughs> world. So we have to figure that out. Do you okay. have do you have live sound on okay. over there? Nope. You are nope. in my earpiece, my friend. Just you are like in my uh, earpiece, my friend. Uh, just, just like, like we uh, rehearsed. Uh, just like we rehearsed. It could be on my end. Who knows? All right, we'll figure it out. So, um, let's just forge ahead. How how have you been? What you been up to? It's been a long time since we've seen each other. Yeah. Thanks. I've been doing good. Yeah. Have my fiance listen in on the stream, and we'll see if uh, it's you know if, if it, it works itself out. Yeah, yeah. If it works itself out, um, I don't know if you're actually listening, but I think if you were listening while being a part of it, it would be complicated. So we'll see I am if, not um, listening. I didn't think so. So we'll see if how <laughs> it's going on the other end. But uh, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Excited to be here. Uh, it has been a long time since we've seen each other. Six years. Uh, yeah, 
Last time we saw each other, I was uh, in school at Musicians Institute, and uh, I was volunteering for the Independent Music Conference. And there was a span of a few years where I was seeing you at least once a year. Yeah. And then, and then we just dropped off, <laughs> and uh, we broke up, basically. So. <laughs> Ricky, why'd you leave me? <laughs> I mean, Actually, I, I think I technically left you because we ended up bringing the IMC back to the East Coast, and so I guess I'm the one who... Who broke it off? Sorry. Yeah, I'm a West Coast gal. <laughs> you know, so this is uh, your sun sets over here, and they're extra <laughs> long. So it's where I, it's where I reside. Well, it's it's it, no matter what how it happened, uh, you know, it's all water under the bridge, and bygones be bygones. It's great to see you again, and we'll just Thank pick up you. where we left off. <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm so, excited to play. Cool. Yeah, we're excited to have you play. And I'm so glad that you're feeling better. Um, and uh, I know Shannon and, and Tony were happy to fill in for you, but they were they were definitely sending you a lot of love. Yeah, I watched the show. They did a really uh, good job, and I really appreciate them filling in. Um, yeah, I wasn't feeling good, and it came on suddenly. And uh, I, actually, I actually had uh, – I got tested positive for COVID. So I'm, oh. I, I'm, a, I'm a statistic now. Wow. So yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't uh, so bad. I've certainly experienced uh, flus more intense than what I did experience, which I'm I, I suppose I'm very lucky because there are people that are really hurting out there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I just had some uh, a light cough in the very beginning. I mean, so light, like a dust cough, and then and then uh, some muscle aches, which actually were pretty excruciating. Like, I, I feel like they went to my joints. And I'm yeah. not exaggerating. I feel like somebody's gripping my spine, and I couldn't sleep for probably about three nights. And but all of those symptoms, including a very light fever, uh, it was gone within five days. Um, but then there's the anxiety that oh, is something brewing? Is something getting worse? You know? Yes. And uh, so that's really what was um, was 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 tough to deal with. But but you know. I have uh, a lot of good food in the house. I'm very thankful. Kept healthy, got a lot of rest, and here we are, um, three and a half weeks from symptom onset. So, well, I'm so glad that you um, powered through it and came <clears throat> out on the other side. Good as new. It's nice to thanks. Nice to hear. And um, I still got my fingers, so we're okay. I yeah, can still do you. this. You can so, still play. <laughs> yeah. And you still have your voice. Yeah, thankfully. Those dulcet tones. Thankfully, yes. <laughs> I got. I had to get tested for COVID before I went to the shoot, and oh, yeah. uh, they stuck that thing way up my nose. It was a little bit uncomfortable having that thing. Oh, uh, but, yeah. I just did the na- I just did the nasal one where I did it, so I only oh. had to do like about an inch up the nose. Oh, this, Listen, this everybody, she- everybody here, everybody here wants to hear about how we got tested. <laughs> So I just wanted to point out that she that she found some brain matter on up while she was up. That's all yeah, I wanted to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, we need to elaborate. Well, it's good to know that I have a brain. That's all I'm trying to get across here. It's actually good to talk about it because the only way I mean, a lot of people just hear about this through the media, you know, and yeah. how things are. So it's kind of good to reflect on it. Well, the, at the, any rate, the most important thing I wanted to get across when I was talking about it was that it's not as bad as people were thinking. You know, when they do it, it's it's oh, a little right. uncomfortable, but it's nothing to worry about. So if you yeah. need to get tested, don't freak out. It's easy. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad that I'm glad that you're. I'm so glad you're feeling better. We're happy Thank to you. have you back. And um, thanks. And so, why don't you tell us a little bit about the song you're going to do for us first? Okay. Uh, so on the set tonight, um, we're uh, we're playing we're playing all songs from uh, the EP. And um, we'll even do a song that's, that actually didn't make the EP. So I, I released this EP in November of last year, um, but more on that later. This song is called, uh, my first song will be Ain't Ever Going Home. I wrote it um, uh, probably about five years back, you know, and adjusted it along the way. But, you know, at that point I had, I mean, I was out of college. I was working six nights a week at a cafe. I I, I didn't really quite know what to do next to musically because all I knew was playing live and going around the city and running around and and that that's cool but there should be another plateau you know where am I going next and anyway so ain't ever going home was this sort of 
this ode to the feeling of wanting to progress and be in this city, even though you're scared, even though you're small, even though you, you don't feel like you may belong at sometimes, but also not wanting to go home, you know, you, like it, it, because I was so, so, so scared or not really doing as well as I wanted to do, or just really just everything was so uncertain, you know? Yeah. So that's where the song came from. It's you didn't a, want it's to give a, up. It's, it's, no, no. And, and how do you reconcile those things? Yeah, gotcha. You know, it's, it's tough. All right, so. this is imc.concert number seven, numero set, and this is Ricky England. <laughs> So I just got here My bags are holding all they can hold I packed my heart for the city And my two eager hands wave hello You know those first two steps that I took I admit I never looked So goodbye to everyone I know I'm free to roam, ain't ever going home It's looking pretty cold For a city in the sun So don't you forget Keep that heart on your hip Like your favorite gun And goodbye to everyone I know I'm free to roam, ain't ever going home they say it's okay, you can stay, boy, just keep on running around They say it's okay, you can stay, boy, just keep on running around So I'm gonna keep on running for now, somehow So now they lean over me, whispering everything I'm wishing And suddenly that heart I packed before is lost and missing And goodbye to everyone I know Who knows where I'll go And most days I'll miss all my snow But I'm free to roam, ain't ever going home I'm free to roam, ain't ever going home I'm free to roam, ain't ever going home Yeah. Nice. I like that one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. And even visual effects. This is great. <laughs> yeah. This is this is my audience. This is a uh, it's a clap track I just pulled up on YouTube. Well, I mean, I sometimes you got to have these for these streams. I mean, you don't. Part part of being a performer is understanding the appreciation if there is any, live and in person, it creates a synergy, but I don't have that right now. So that's you got my me. synergy. <laughs> right. And Thanks. we have a, we have a shout out and, an, and it's an important one because Shannon is with us. So. Oh, hey, Shannon. I know you're going to name that baby Ricky with a Y. <laughs> no, 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 no. I she's already, already she's naming it Noel. <laughs> oh, Noel Ricky. And then your last name, right? Or okay. Ricky Noel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's cool to have you here with us, Shannon. And uh, I guess you know, this means that the baby hasn't, 
been born yet, so we're still waiting. I know <laughs> she's anxious to to see her new child, so maybe this show will be what it takes yeah. to induce. Yeah. So um very interesting turn of events. Um that's gonna be up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you never know. It would be a first for the IMC dot concert. That's true. Okay, so um, why don't we talk a little bit? Why don't we back up a little bit, Ricky? Because I, okay, I, you know, I feel like I know you much better than my audience does, and I, you know, I mm. don't want to forget that they don't have all the facts that I have. So, how about we okay. backtrack a little bit and we go to the beginning when Ricky first started playing music, and how did that all come about? Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, this this will be fun. Um, <laughs> well, so we'll skim by the early years, early years, but they were uh, they were important. Um, grandmother had a piano. I tinkered around with it, learned a little bit of Moonlight Sonata. Um, fast forward a couple of years later, I'm banging on boxes with my dad as he's playing guitar, and I was making beats. The, you know, drum beats. This is how this is how beats used to be made in the early <laughs> days. It was boxes, cardboard boxes, exactly. And uh, music, I, I I understood very early that something was making sense to me. And any musician and or singer will attest that attest to the reality that when you're you don't really know what's going on, but you know something is working. You don't know why it's working. You get timing. You get rhythm, you get melody, you can kind of hear where something's going to go, you know. Um, so that was, those were my early years. Um, a couple years after that, so about seven years old now, uh, my dad bought me a drum set and I started just playing drums. And that was really cool. Uh, it took me all the way through junior high school and um, high school. Played for the jazz band, toured, we went to competitions. Waking up at 6 a.m. every morning just to play drums before class actually started. That was a trip yeah. in high school. Um, and I haven't mentioned the guitar at this point because the guitar really wasn't in the picture. Oh. I, I, didn't ha I didn't have a guitar at this point. Come about graduation, 18 years old, my dad bought me a guitar uh, really out of nowhere to me. Um, and I played some chords, you know, some open stuff. <laughs> really simple stuff and uh, my dad turned me on eventually to Stevie Ray Vaughan um, who's uh, you know everybody knows is um, a big blues guy you know in the 80s and and he was he was do, he was playing blues like really nobody else was you know at that time and so I picked up on what he was doing and at that point I actually moved to Missouri and it was okay. still just a hobby. Yeah, it was still just a hobby. And um, in Missouri, I just started, I didn't have friends. I didn't have a car. I didn't have um, a job yet. I just had this guitar and my, my, my dad and I both moved and we're just, just hanging out in Missouri with his family, wanting to get close to his family. And anyways, I just, um, I just started playing that guitar a lot and Really, at that point, I was set to go be a mechanic and paint cars for a living, got accepted to Wyotech in Wyoming, and was like ready to ship off soon to go work on cars for a living. But the amount of guitar playing that I did do uh, obviously changed something. And I said, okay, well, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go work on cars. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to decide to play music for a living. And that probably came from this one person that I did meet on MySpace, which is very funny. Um, my first friend in, in Missouri. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's still, it's still kicking, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, not in my life. Yeah. So yeah, we met and she ended up becoming a good friend. And she said, have you ever tried writing a song? I said, no started writing and sang a cover and she really liked it. She was really supportive, really liked your voice. Never thought of myself as a singer, never. I mean, I was just interested in playing blues at that time. You were a car mechanic with a guitar. Yeah, man, I was in Missouri. I was just, I was just doing this all the time. <laughs> That's it. And 
So singing became something else. I started playing pretty chords. And learning how to create melodies and create structure. And that's really when I said, okay, I think I have something. I had a lot of support around me. And so that's my timeline of music. That's a pretty cool that's story. It. Yeah. Thanks. So, that, so I, uh, then from, from there, you decided to move to L.A. to pursue it? Yeah, yeah. At that, at that time in Missouri, uh, my dad was actually moving back to Seattle, Washington. That's where uh, my family's from. And he moved back because things weren't working out in Missouri, so he needed to go back home. I decided to stay in Missouri because I didn't want to go back to the place where I started from. And I got this apartment for $350 a month. It was a one-bedroom, just a hole in Springfield, Missouri, and was doing customer support for Hewlett Packard <laughs> and was working on my songwriting. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was searching through a guitar player magazine, one idle lunch, and ran across an ad for Musicians Institute in Hollywood. And it was a performance-based school. It was here centered in the industry. So I said, okay, I got to go. And I was 19 when I made that commitment. Nice. Yeah. Well, we're, we're um, big fans of MI because they've hosted the IMC in the past. So yeah, we, we love that place. It was always yeah. a good show there. Fond memories. Yes, so very much so. I packed my car up, headed out west. <laughs> go west, young man. Yep. Back cool. west, at least. Cool. Yeah. So, so I'm understanding that your dad was a mu- or is a musician, also. Yeah, yeah. He still plays, and um, that's awesome. He's uh, yeah. He likes to, he uh, he likes to write really goofy songs and dirty songs, and he's he's the life of the party. With he's the guy who shows up at a party with a guitar, and everybody's like, oh man, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> and uh, he'll make you laugh. Yeah, but he, but but there's, it's not all just comedy. He's he was really he's fond of the singer songwriter John Pryan and likes you know very just easygoing chord progressions and singing something nice, you know. Cool. So you're you're yeah. it, it's a musical dynasty. It kind of is. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about if anybody bef- before uh, my dad and the family was musical, but you well, know, your grandmother um, had a piano, right? Well, technically, but she didn't know how to play it. Oh, I see. Yeah. She just liked she liked having a piano. That's interesting. I don't know the story behind it, and um, I should try and find out. Yeah, that might know. be interesting. Yeah, brings back memories. Because sometimes you know pianos are handed down, or you you never know. There, there's usually a there's usually an interesting history behind a piano that's been in the home or in the family. Yeah. They yeah, if you've a, got a. If you've got an upright piano in your house, um, and it's old, you know it came from some. It, it came, came from some place. It came from another time, almost. There's you a know, story behind and, it, almost guaranteed. And it, <laughs> yeah, and it also takes a lot to work with the piano, getting it in your your building or your house. So it's they tend to stay there for a while. Yeah, it's kind of weird thinking about somebody having a piano and not playing piano and doing all that work to get it in there. Yeah, well, it might have come with a place. We don't know. <laughs> That's true. You never know how they get there. They just show up. All right, well, let's. Uh, how about we get into another song? Sure. What you got for us? Uh, so we'll play, uh, we'll play a song, actually, that didn't make the record. Uh, it's called Move Along. And uh, this song didn't make the record because uh, it just didn't have the vibe as the other songs and i think sometimes that happens it was my first ep so i don't know but i'm assuming that you get all these songs together and then you listen back and you're like yeah you know what this one will be better later (laughs) and so that song had to move along yeah (laughs) yeah this song had to move along (laughs) yeah exactly yeah Um, all right we we look forward to hearing it move along by ricky england on the imc dot concert
Everything's a little different When somebody feels the same You won't think twice about it Cause you've been waiting for change I know you wanna rush on it You don't wanna be alone again Can't help but rush on And when you skip the beginning Does it ever feel broken in? Do you ever learn about yourselves Or how to let someone in? I think you're just excited To find somebody you can call your own But when the ground goes missing Well, how's anything supposed to grow? That's how people love And then they move along That's how people love Before they move along It never takes long Somewhere down the line Are you ever still there inside? If the words you're supposed to say They start to feel like another lie You won't mean to grow apart But that's just what people do If the reason they've started out Is the reason they've hurried through but that's how people love Before they move along That's how people love Before they move along Before they move along And while the seasons are gonna change Well, I hope you know that you will too There's no one here to blame It's just another part of finding you And that's how people love Before they move along and that's how people love Before they move along takes long It's okay if you want more We're always halfway through the door That was a good one. Thanks, man. I like the guitar. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> the crowd <Thank> loves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting song for me. It's sort of, you know, it's sort of flatlined the whole song, and it's mostly all about the the lyrics. And but um, it's uh, it took a bit to write. I wanted to really write about that feeling of. Uh, it being okay to move along or understanding that sometimes people move along, especially if you're rushing into things or things are sort of, you know, fading away between two people. And sometimes that happens. And anyways, um, that was move along. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see if we got any more shout outs to do. We, Oh, Shannon cool. says, 
Shannon says that she went to MI also, so you guys are fellow alums. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, she didn't either. It's cool to hook you guys up. You know that you're both uh, oh, MI wow. alums. You know, I saw her perform at the IMC conference. Uh, she was performing with some guy. I forget his <laughs> name. It might have been Cody. But, <laughs> but aren't we all performing with some guy? Right? <laughs> you never know. Yeah, these, are the, these are the jokes. <laughs> where's your Where's your laugh track? <laughs> oh, I do have that uploaded. Yeah. But next time, when somebody when somebody says a real joke, we'll do the laugh. <laughs> that one wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was a pseudo joke. That's right. It was, a, to the, it was a stand-in. A stand-in yeah, joke. Yeah, exactly. In, insert exactly. funny stuff here. Exactly. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> nice. I'm All right. Well, hey, I have a question for you. Sure. I've been yeah. I've been checking out your videos. You got some videos online. Um, oh, some yeah. of them you did vertical videos, so I'm assuming you do those for Instagram. Yeah, a lot of the videos that you'll find vertical are are I, I put up on 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 Instagram. But um, this was before I learned that on Instagram TV, you could turn it and have. Uh, you know, widescreen or what do they call it? Um, uh, Horizontal mode. By, um, what's the aspect ratio? Six by. We're gonna come back to that. Nine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> crap. Vertical, you know, wide. Horizontal. Anyways, that's right. Yeah, I. I'm, Sixteen by I, nine. Sixteen by nine. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have a pet peeve with Instagram because I don't understand how. All of these people, like your grandma and your mom and your dad, you know, who grew up with actual cameras that they held like mm. this, are now mm. somehow, mm. I strangely enough, they're trying to get their whole family to squish in so they can get them to fit in their Instagram photo. I don't get it. Turn the phone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's all about it's all about the real estate. You know, on Instagram, right? You're scrolling, and you can have something widescreen, but it's going to be about this big. Yeah, you Instagram. Know. I hate Instagram for that. It's like yeah, it's, it's, it's got turned every it's turned everybody into a, a vertical phone holder now. It's like turn the phone. It works that way too. That's, that's yeah. Fine. For, the the whole vertical <laughs> era is certainly taking over. I mean, it's desirable for the whole the as for the selfie era. It's evil. You know, it looks it makes people look better. It's and evil. Hey, who doesn't like looking better? <laughs> I mean, which is evil in itself. <laughs> Well, I suppose, yeah, that would be one of the seven deadly sins, right? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. There you go. Well, hey, since we're talking about videos, mm -hmm. would you mind if I showed one of yours? Oh, yeah, which one? I wouldn't um, mind at all. The one that I liked a lot was um, called Plane. It was recorded at a recording studio, apparently. Oh, right, yeah, we did that one live. Actually, a lot of my videos are live. Um which is, uh, yeah, Seahorse Sound Studios. That's the one. That's Can where we, we did that. Go for it. If we watch it? All right, cool. Go I, for I, it. Yeah, I don't I mind at all. I, I think that the folks will enjoy this. So this is Ricky yep. England recorded live at Seahorse Sound Studios. Without a name 
oh so plain I guess I'll remain And what can I do Just leave her be Can I do Just leave her be She's just a bird Sing her song A glimpse of color And then she's gone So who am I to say I'm worthy of her Fly along Just a bird who will sing her song A glimpse of color and then she's gone So who am I to say I'm worthy of her fly long Of this fly long Of her fly along That's a good Man. one. Thanks. That was one of the uh, that was one of the first few songs I wrote uh, attending Musicians Institute. Really? You know? Yeah, yeah. It was um, the first one that really stuck. I just had this thing for a while, <laughs> and, I, and I played that forty different times before I was like, okay, this is the one. <laughs> and I ended up, yeah, just. Uh, writing that song, thinking about one in particular person and how she was she was a very colorful, very vibrant, very energetic person, and I definitely felt like blue jeans, t-shirt, very magoo, <laughs> you know, <laughs> very plain, right? <laughs> oh, I see. It's sort of the theme for all of my songs on this EP. <laughs> if anybody, if anybody goes and listens to the EP, they're all. It's all it's all about just me not feeling good enough, let's be honest. <laughs> but that's okay, you know, I these all, all of these songs were uh you know, they were written you know 5 years ago around that period of time. Like they were old songs. So like these songs just needed to live, you know. So So you're all grown up now. You're adulting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm adulting and I'm certainly writing different songs about different <laughs> things. Like, uh, listen, I write songs about, you know, uh, existential crises stuff. And plus, maybe since I'm adulting, I'll write songs about doing my taxes. I don't know. Oh, my um, God. We'll see. We'll Please, see where it no. Goes. <laughs> yes, that's what we need. <laughs> More tax you know? songs. Didn't get my stimulus check. <laughs> Didn't get my stimulus check. <laughs> that I might be a really hit. <laughs> Good. Hey, I, I want to uh, go back to Seahorse for a minute because it looks like that place has a like a really cool vibe. It looks kind of like almost like you're in a museum or something. Tell me a little oh, bit about yeah. the studio. Well, yeah. So I actually don't know uh, the owner, but a friend, a good friend of ours, uh, Mehdi Hassin, 
was taking over the building for um, a period of time. And he needed some artists to do some work in there. And we, we've been in and out of there on several different projects. My fiance recorded her EP there in one whole weekend, just a lockout, like 12 hour days. And uh, that place is really cool though. It's definitely got a vibe. You know, you, you see, <laughs> um, I'm trying to picture this video. Uh, so there's a lot of instruments around. There's like 40 pianos, you know, <laughs> and there is, everything is dimly lit because everything is lit by lamps. You know, like like goodwill lamps, like the, <laughs> like the lamps that you. It's called the vintage, that, Ricky. Vintage. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Let's be. You know, this is a hipster. Uh, th this this place is full of the stuff that um, it, it, it is that it, it's so desirable though. You got like you got Vox amps that is from the '60s. You've got uh, U87s or U47s that uh, you know. Um, that the great artists have sung through. Um, but then you got these lamps, man. These are the lamps that you give away. It's really funny. But it's <laughs> certainly a vibe. And then you got the carpets, you know, the uh, really eccentric carpets that um, everything is sitting on. They're really dusty. That's sound and treatment. It, it's so cool. Yeah, right. I mean, it is. It technically is, you know. The more dust, but, yeah. the better the sound treatment. <laughs> right. <laughs> we had. We had. We had a lot of... <clears throat> good times in that place and still go back there occasionally and and uh, so that's seahorse sound interesting yeah. i could see i could see how that how recording there would give you some like inspiration because it's it looks inspiring watching yeah. the video definitely yeah seems, yeah it's, the, it's the vibe else. comes across you know yeah it's not super glossed over yeah. you know it's it's a it looks vibe. like a, it looks like a music place exactly hey we have another shout out to do we have Rhonda with us again. Rhonda is one of my uh, fellow hey, high school classmates, and she's been watching the show. So thank you so much for being here, Rhonda. Um, oh, hey, Rhonda. <laughs> sing to her. Help me, Rhonda. Let's see. <laughs> Rhonda, you make me feel so fond of your Honda. <laughs> don't you know you wanna you wanna I don't know anyways. <laughs> you need, where's that laugh track <laughs> hey man I don't know shoot here we go there it is <laughs> hey, it, I'll, 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 I'll take late laughter for uh, for uh, for 100 please <laughs> <laughs> that was good that was good speaking of like impromptu songs that brings up the most famous story of Ricky England and the IMC you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about uh no <laughs> there was a there was a famous tv show actor in at the show in los angeles from from my favorite television show psych timothy amundsen was hanging out with us he was at the bar drinking oh and, and we that's... said ricky you need to learn the theme song and play it for him <laughs> That's right. And I'm pretty sure I didn't play the theme song because I had no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> you did. You learned it like did so I? yeah, and you did a great job. I was astounded. I remember what? you guys So you I guys, must have looked it up. Yeah, Shannon helped you. Shannon and mm, Cody okay. helped you find it on the web and you learned it in like a minute and you played it for him. <laughs> it was like it was a moment that could what? it's once in a lifetime wow. moment. You don't okay, remember that's that? That's cool. No, nah, I was probably drunk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> maybe that's why it worked. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That was uh, the Pig and Whistle. Was that right? Yeah. Pig and Whistle in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that show. I remember performing, but I don't remember. I remember hearing about a dude, but I don't remember actually nailing the theme song for this. You day. nailed it. You nailed it. And he's, wow, he was cool. the dude. I don't know if you hey, know man, this. Anything for you. <laughs> uh, thanks. I don't know if you know this, but he had a stroke yeah. recently. So. Oh, that's um, sad. Yeah, but he came through it. He's uh, he's gonna be in the next movie that's coming out very soon. They got him. They got him oh. back on the cast. So there's gonna be another Psych movie playing okay. soon. So we're all looking cool. forward to that and looking forward all to right. him coming back. We'll go so him. Maybe if we come back out to L.A., maybe he'll come to another show with us. <laughs> I'm sure if we reach out to him, he actually I don't think he would remember us. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I've I've been staying in touch with him on on uh, social media, so. 
All right. Well, how about we get into another song? We got one more one more okay. tune to do here. Uh, what are you gonna What are you gonna do for us this time? Um, I could play. Um, uh, I could play my jazzy song. That'll be cool. It's a little different. I actually don't need this. Play my song called uh, give, "Just Give Me a Try." Also, writing this. Uh, I wrote this song in that uh, period of time of just writing songs that I didn't feel good enough and so also going out to one individual i was going to school with i mean they, they all are all of these songs are inspired <laughs> by literally the same person for every artist you know so um yeah but i was studying a lot of jazz chord melody at the time at school by some of the greats and i i didn't i didn't want to just write a song that was really complicated because jazz can be associated with complex and dissonant things, you know, so I kind of put it in a structure that was listenable. Okay. Like a song. Like, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so this is called Give Me a Try. That's right, Give Me a Try. All right, Give Me a Try by Ricky England on the IMC Dot Concert. so hard if you just gave me a try took my say and you tossed it aside won't even let your eyes see the way towards mine just give me a try and we could promise not to make any promises just so everybody know a picture fell down in my living room no promise of sudden worries and no more And I beg don't be so sure Oh, for what's in store This is a very serious song, guys. <laughs> so don't you pull around If you see me around Take my eyes and put them to a place that's not found Just give me one old try Surprises you never thought of me Just give me one old try Just give me one old try Just give me one old try So you're rocking your me it's metal. You're rocking the walls down over there. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know what happened. That's so funny. <laughs> this literally this photo right behind the camera. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a first. Oh man. There's there's it's probably because it's so warm in here. There there's your interaction that you were looking for. Hey, if there's any proof that I need to uh I got nothing. 
You need I where's know. that where's that clap track? You need to launch that do the clap track real oh, quick. Shoot. I don't know. I got an ad in front of it right now. I gotta <laughs> delete this ad. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, that's the is that the laugh? Yeah, that's the laugh. Okay, let's get a laugh. Let's get a little nice. bit of a laugh. Nice. I, I may have to incorporate that into the show, Ricky. You're gonna have to come on every episode <laughs> and be the laugh track. <laughs> yeah. I'll just right, give so, you the app. <laughs> no, that's that wouldn't be any fun. So you want me to be this window just in the corner of Zoom exactly. and just be like <laughs> <laughs> Hey, every good every good um late night talk show has a band, right? Has a house band. Yeah. Okay. Or they also have I mean, there's like a radio broadcasts that have like the sound effects guy. See? You know, he, his job is just to like sit there and hit buttons. It's meant to be. And those guys are so quick. Have you ever I mean, I'm sure you've listened to those radio shows like late at night. Like I used to listen to Love Line. You know, Dr. Drew and Adam Corolla. Co- yeah, Corolla, that's right. You know. I like that. <laughs> Adam Corolla used to do the um the man show, the man show. with uh yeah. with um our late night host there, um uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, exactly. The two of those guys did the man show where they ziggy zaggy, yeah. ziggy zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Yeah. I love that oh, show. I haven't watched that in a long time. <laughs> Hey, we have a shout out to do. Uh, Michael Zimmerlich says, "Heart you, Ricky." <laughs> All right, Michael. Thanks for watching, shaking, Michael. <laughs> hey, all right. So, listen. I I know that this is supposed to be it. I had asked for three songs, but um, yeah. inevitably, I get to the end of the show and I don't want to let you go. And I've done. I know mm-hmm. I do this every time, and I'm sorry, but I'm I'm gonna. You're, ne- you're never satisfied. I'm I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna beg and plead and ask you if you'll if you'd be willing to do us an encore. What do you think? Yeah, sure. I mean, like the pandemic has canceled all my other plans, so this is, <laughs> you've got nowhere to go. I'm I'm here, man. <laughs> Sweet. Well, that's good. Yeah. Thank you. So what? Well, what I might you... as well do the uh, I might as well do the title track of the EP. Um, can't believe I actually didn't play that. Uh, so the EP is called Bold, and. Uh, the uh, this track is to be bold. I okay. wrote this. I wrote this one actually. Um, um, yeah, when did I write this? Well, I, I guess around the same time period, like five years ago or so. No, no, no. This one's a little bit later, like six years. And excuse me. Um, again, about the same thing. Hey, I just want to be good enough for you, or you, or you. You know. This EP is and, like a time capsule. <clears throat> It kind of is, and that's how the project <laughs> felt. You know, we were in the studio doing these songs, and uh, Jordan Ruiz, um, a great producer, was with me uh, doing these songs, and it was really just he and I and um, Robbie Lattimore on bass, and and it really, it really felt like a time capsule, man. I was transported back to my, you know, early twenties. And did it feel did it feel comfortable or was it kind of like it was weird? relieving it uh-huh. was relieving because because these songs have only been played acoustic mm-hmm. since since they were born and now we were we were putting basically a band setting to them we were recording other instruments you know so it was really cool to see them come alive and they're different uh-huh. so this song this song was written acoustically just like all the other songs and it's finger picky but you go on the record anybody who's listening go on the record and Go to Spotify, iTunes, wherever you want to listen to your music and just look up my name and listen to To Be Bold and you'll hear how we really spun it differently and got a whole band in there and like really, really drive in the song. Um, cool. So, so this will this be the acoustified be version. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you for the encore. Ricky England on the yeah, IMC no Dot Concert. So I go. 
go ahead and put this heart to work again And I'll teach myself to be bold How to be bold I've got some things to tell her slow To be bold. Nice. Tell me a little bit more about the EP. EP is a three-song EP. We wanted four, and that's where Move Along would have uh, come in, but, you know, we'll do do that one a bit later. Moved along. (laughs) It moved along, man. And uh, and, uh, it'll be better next time. And um, it it was all tracked in about nine days, I think. Wow. And Jordan Ruiz, like I mentioned before, great producer, worked on it with me. He played a lot of the instruments. Um, he, me, uh, he and I and um, a bass player were all just there. And um, it's it's a different sound than what you're hearing now. And that might be okay, especially for like uh, for like a for like a first EP. Oh, my light went out. <laughs> and um, so is, they're trying to even... they're trying. <laughs> This They're is trying like, to kick uh, me off the stage right yeah. now. <laughs> it's time to go home. It, yeah, there, somebody's like going like, wrap it up. We're replicating the vibe from Seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, it's okay. It's really okay. Um, so, th- so, yeah, so, that, so that's the EP. Um, it's a little different, and, you know, these, these next songs I'm working on are going to be very acoustic forward and uh, probably be done right here in the apartment and going to get a in a cool vibey uh california longing sound and um yeah that's it so where can they find the ep you can find the ep on um spotify itunes google play amazon music anywhere you want you can go to um anywhere you want meaning like anywhere you listen to music really you can go to uh my website rickyengland.com um <clears throat> england is spelled like the country in case anybody's wondering and you can find links to uh, your your name is down below you. Oh, is it? Yeah, you could point there. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And uh, yeah, anywhere music is consumed, is consumed, you'll find it. Cool. I will also put your URL to your website in the comments below after the show is over so people can check you out on their own time and they definitely yeah. should learn more yeah. about you. Um, yeah, and if anybody involved in the conference wants to work together, that's what it's all about. You know, reach out, send me a direct message. Um, we can songwrite, we can play music, we can collaborate and see what happens. Cool. Yeah, actually, uh, Michael left a very nice message for Did us my in video, the comments. My battery get exhausted. Oh, battery Hang exhausted. On. Battery exhausted. Hang on, I'm gonna switch. <laughs> all over. right, no worries. I have a technical difficulty screen for this. I get to use it again. Hang on a second. <laughs> Yeah, I get to use my technical difficulty screen. <laughs> I don't know why I've, why this is so much fun. <laughs> All right, folks. So Ricky's putting in a new battery. Oh, it looks like he's back. He's he's back. Yay! <laughs> I'm just using the uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, camera from my computer. That was quick, quick, quick reaction time. We're so gonna as we're I... gonna put the uh, battery in though still. As I was saying, um, Michael left a really nice message for us, and I want to thank you for that, Michael. Appreciate it very much. Thanks, Michael. So, um, okay, cool. Well, we're about to wrap it up anyway. I just wanted to get some uh, information from you about your website yeah. and whatnot. So when folks go to your website, they can find links to everything else there? Yeah, yeah. You can find links to um, all of the major uh, streaming platforms. You can find a link, I believe, to download... Um, actually, no, not, not a download. You'll still have to pay for the download. Um, you can, I, I did an interview, uh, late last year. So around December or so with, um, uh, LA, uh, what is it? L a Vo Voyage LA magazine. And we, uh, we sort of talk about the same thing that actually you and I were talking about Noel. And, um, does it go into more detail? Probably. Yeah. You know, it's all written out there, so cool. be prepared to read. <laughs> Folks do, still do that, I think. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, oh, gosh. Hey, I have one more thing I want to say before we let you go. Yeah. We, we, have, we appear to have dueling Chinese screens going on here. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Dude, Amazon. <laughs> but I, I don't know. You have more of them, but I think I'm winning because I have – neon lights <laughs> yeah yeah you can you can have your neon lights you know i'll take my uh i'll take my ominous yellow glow in the back there um you might just yeah, you might living... win out in sheer volume because you have like a hundred of them over there yeah there's like what is it there's six there's six slides <laughs> and it's perfect it's a great room divider uh my fiance and myself we live in just this giant loft space nice um here and uh, it's very it's very hipster. Let's be honest. That sounds kind of New Yorky. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, but cheaper. Yes, interesting. All right, <laughs> sweet. Well, Ricky, I really appreciate you doing this for us, man. We were looking forward to this, and you oh, did yeah. not disappoint. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh wow, I'm so I'm so glad you're uh, you're appreciative. It was a lot of fun. I Good. my favorite part will definitely be when the photo fell. <laughs> That, That's that an INC dot concert thing. moment for sure. That's right. Oh man, it's gonna be good. I don't know though. The battery exhausted thing was pretty good too. <laughs> well, usually I have this thing timed out like it should it should last for more than an hour, but I forgot we had it on uh, for a little bit while we were for the prep doing the preliminary stuff. Yeah, right. Well, see, you so. you 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 rocking the walls down and you're wearing out the batteries. This is this is how you roll. Hey man, like I exhaust batteries real quick. <laughs> Yeah, it's because the frames, they got to keep up with all this, man, you know. <laughs> Very cool. All I'm right, going to get so... one of those dummy batteries, though, where you fit them into the camera and you just plug it in, you know. Yeah, it's got yeah. a cord, AC, yeah, AC adapter, yep, yeah. smart. But thank you so much, Noel. Um, I'm so grateful that you provide a platform for people to connect and get together, and um, hopefully uh, everybody out there enjoyed what you heard or saw or what you heard crash to the floor. <laughs> uh, Please reach out if you want to connect and or just to say hi. Um, I'm pretty big on, uh, I'm, bi I'm mostly big on Instagram. So get on Instagram, at Ricky England. That's where I, I post a lot of my stuff. Sweet. 
Well, I, yeah. I hope that you will come back sometime in the near future and do another one of these Definitely. for us because this yeah. was too much fun. Maybe maybe yeah. after maybe after this next project launches, we'll we'll have you back. Yeah, yeah. I'll, we just got to make sure um, I get COVID first and then so I can cancel again. <laughs> no. And then I'll come back. <laughs> we don't want to repeat that at all. <laughs> yeah, I really don't. We, once is plenty. Too, too, once yeah, is too much. No kidding. All right, my friend. Thank you again so much. Everybody, please, uh, big round of applause. Do your thing. For Ricky oh, England right. on, <laughs> on the IMC dot concert. There we go. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> hey, awesome. these are the days of our lives. <laughs> All right, Ricky. Thanks, man. No problem. See ya. Bye-bye. Awesome. Wow, that was cool. It was so good to have him. And uh, nice to see him, even if only virtually. So wonderful to uh, catch up and, and hear some music from him. I, uh, as I said earlier, folks, I'm probably going to do these maybe once every two weeks for a while, and then I might move to monthly as my schedule starts to uh, increase with the work coming back, which is a good thing because we all do want to get back to work, right? So I, I am happy to, uh, to be seeing the work coming back. I enjoyed myself very much yesterday. It was a little rusty. I was a little rusty, but it came back quick. I got into the groove. So hopefully we'll be doing lots more of that and, uh, We'll still be doing these, however. I'll still have some artists for you, singing some songs, telling some jokes, and we'll uh, see you on the live stream. So once again, everybody, thank you for being with us for this imc.concert, and uh, we will see you next week. <laughs>